Hello, today I want to talk to you, business owner. Have you thought about expanding your company in an international market? The COVID-19 came to teach us business owners that no matter the size of our companies, small, medium, large, we need to prepare our companies to be internationally oriented. We can no longer afford to have all our eggs in one basket, right? Even if your company is not ready yet to expand, you can already start preparing it for the expansion, so it will be ready for when the opportunity comes. If you wait, it can be too late and you don't want that to happen. The preparation I'm talking about is an internal step that's fundamental for a successful expansion and that unfortunately many companies overlook. And actually, that's one of the main reasons they fail when expanding abroad. I have talked to several business owners from a variety of industries and different countries in the last few months. Their companies were heavily impacted by this pandemic, of course, so they are looking for advice and solutions on what to do with their organizations so it can survive this crazy time that we are living. Now they are trying to handle the situation the best they can and trying to recover from this, but the truth is that they were too busy working in their businesses that they didn't have time to work on their businesses. In order to grow your business, you need to be working on it rather than in it. <laughs> we all tend to get too involved in our day-to-day -day operations and many times micromanaging and that creates more work for us, right? We get too busy not doing what really matters to our companies and we lose sight of the big picture. And that's when usually we lose control of it. Now, more than ever, we need to manage our companies with a global vision, with an international mindset, because the world has changed and business has changed too. That's why startups are booming. They are dominating the marketplace in all areas, in all industries, while big and well-established companies are shrinking and really struggling to survive. They were too comfortable with what they became, right? That they forgot to keep moving, to keep being creative, innovative, and to have an international mindset. They didn't follow all the new trends happening in the world. The COVID-19 just accelerated everything that was supposed to happen already. Expanding your sales in an international market could be the solution for your company. A new market could mean growth opportunities, a new customer base, new investment opportunities, new strategic partnership opportunities, and much more. So why companies fail when they expand abroad? The game of international expansion has many threats that domestic-only organizations usually don't see. They don't pay attention to those. Before you start the expansion process, you need to make sure that you understand the game so you can avoid the pitfalls. It can be very tricky because you don't know what you don't know, right? The most common mistakes are failing to prepare your company for the new market. The preparation needs to happen before the expansion itself. Second, failing to plan your strategy. Lack of planning is a recipe for disaster. A new market has so many peculiarities, so you need to understand that. A well-thought strategic plan is fundamental for your success. Third, ignoring the cultural differences. Assuming if it succeed in your home country, it would also succeed anywhere. That's not true, right? Fourth, failing to adapt your company and your products to the new target audience. So what about your company? What are you doing to save your company? Like I said before, it's time to have a global vision. You don't want to miss the opportunities that foreign markets have to offer. It doesn't necessarily matter the size of your company. There are different ways to expand. If you can't afford to expand right now, for example, maybe all you need to do is to find a strategic business partnership in that new market so you can expand sales in that country through that partnership. And that can be a very smart move for several companies, right? Because it also gives you a chance to get a feeling of that specific market. You know, the way they do business and everything that's related to a new market even before you invest in the expansion itself. So it's a very start, smart move. Or maybe you have the time and the funds to expand right now, but you don't really know how to start and where to start, right? 
Anyway, it's time to stop and think how you can make your company internationally oriented. So it will be ready to expand whenever you as a business owner, you are ready. I see so many companies failing when they expand internationally and I don't want this to happen to you. So that's why I decided to create an online course to teach you how to prepare your company internally for the expansion. The Four Pillars program. You will learn in only four pillars about some key adjustments that you need to make internally in your organization to make it internationally oriented for a successful expansion. This is a key step that unfortunately is overlooked by many organizations and that's one of the main reasons why most of them fail when expanding abroad. You will learn what adjustments you need to do in several areas of your organization so it meets the standards of the new target market that you are planning to expand. Like I said before, this program is beneficial even for companies that are not planning to expand yet but want to be ready for international customers. So I invite you to join me in this program. Let's get your company ready to expand its international footprint. Click on the link in my bio and subscribe to receive more information about this program.